What is up, guys? Set a flank. Glad to have you here for this Forza Horizon 5 review tips. And for your viewing pleasure, I uh, put a little steering wheel action in here for you to go along with the scenery and, and the environment. So I wanted to take a nice cruise with you guys through the new environment in Mexico and go over what my thoughts are. What, what are the good things? What are the not so good things about Forza Horizon 5? And ultimately, what makes this game really stand out in the market right now? And, and when you're evaluating your options, what games are out there? Even in the driving sector, this is one of the best games out there right now. So let's get right into it. All right, there's plenty to be said that is fantastic about Horizon 5. The first thing that I noticed, and you probably will too, is the expansive and beautiful environment. When you compare it to Horizon 4, the Brit British environment, Mexico is absolutely beautiful. These expansive landscapes, the graphics, textures, the reflection that you can see in the hood of your car, of everything from buildings to the clouds, trees, etc. that you'll see right in the hood of your car. And when the roads get slick, you'll see all that as well. The roads look absolutely stunning. So some things that they improved and some, some pros that I would say that I'm really highlighting in my overall review of Horizon 5 is graphics, graphics, and uh, graphics. There's also improvements to sound. One of the big problems in Horizon 4 was a generic, somewhat lack of variety in the sound of the engine. So that's why we're listening to the sounds of the engine while we go over this commentated review of Horizon 5. And go ahead and hit that like button if you agree with me that the sound of these engines are just nasty. Some other things they improved on, of course, we touched on the environment, but not just the environment in terms of the views and the mountains and the uh, foliage, the variance in environment. You'll go from desert into sandstorms, through the jungle, then into the mountains. You've got pine tree in environments. You've got somewhat winter environments up in the mountains. You've got a lot of variety. But you also have a lot of variety in the roads themselves. The roads, in order to be able to create your own paths, your own races, uh, there's so much more to it. The world is much larger than Horizon 4. But not just that, the roads are more interesting. They're more fun to drive. They're not so just straight line, boring environments, redundant environments. So they really improved on the environments, the feel of the game, the graphics, and uh, ultimately the interest that you will be able to maintain while driving these roads. They're just a lot more fun. They've also improved on the gameplay experience when you're using a steering wheel simulator like I do. Horizon 4 was pretty atrocious in terms of playing it with a steering wheel. It was just torturous. They recognized that and improved it in Horizon 5, and I've had a great time on here on the simulation mode. I typically have been playing Dirt Rally, which is somewhat the gold standard uh, for Dirt Simulator or Rally Simulator, and Horizon has done a great job to simulate that to give us the spectrum of experience from whether you're an experienced driver who wants to have that simulation feel with a sim rig or if you're a brand new arcade looking just to have fun kind of player that doesn't want to simulate real driving they want to just have fun with their friends it has that accessibility to it here in horizon 5 they do a great job of giving that brand new novice experience you can have for somebody like myself who's trying to get better but ultimately i'm still a somewhat newbie uh, and then also challenging experience to so those that are experienced and want to enjoy that um, challenge of real simulation. So you've got it all there and you can really have fun with your friends while we all play in our own lane, so to speak, in terms of difficulty level. Okay, the not so fun part, what could they have done better? What is still somewhat lacking in Horizon 5? Well, I'll tell you, the game modes are virtually the same as Horizon 4. They didn't add many game modes or a different feel to it. It feels very similar to Horizon 4, just kind of a new environment, certainly new engine, new physics. But when you look at the game modes, they're lacking. They could have some type of hot pursuit game mode. It's kind of sad. They build this whole engine and there's not one hot pursuit game mode. I mean, come on. Come on, guys. That should be there. We were playing that years ago. It's a lot of fun to have those game modes, and most racing games put some type of hot pursuit or police pursuit mode, 
you build this entire world, how fun would that be to be able to play in like a police scenario with your friends and what have you? So they're really missing the boat in not adding that. But I still like that they stuck to their guns in terms of what they do well, uh, not changing just to be like other games. And that's an underlining problem in gaming as a whole, in the industry as a whole. Games are molding together. Games lose their identity and follow wherever the profits are, wherever the common denominator of whatever noobs like at that time. And so games are kind of all molding into the same game. If you look at Battlefield becoming Call of Duty, there's examples like that all over the place. And Horizon has done a good job of just being Horizon. They did not try to change into other games or adapt or change too much, which I can respect because you get genuine improvement there. You have genuine improvement experience from Horizon 4 to Horizon 5 because they didn't try to do so much and reinvent the whole wheel and become like other games like so many other studios are doing. Uh, PUBG was a phenomenon that, that changed the shooter realm where all games decided that that's what they needed to do. They needed to get into this battle royale mode and uh, Horizon hasn't done that. You know, they've stuck to their guns at what they do. They get better at what they do and they don't become other games. So hats off to you for that. Some other things they could have done better on. They could have improved the clarity of how to play the game. It has some accessibility issues in terms of the UI or the interface for users to understand how to play this game. It somewhat walks a line between a game that wants to convince you that there's this cheesy storyline that you should be buying into, but also on the other end that it's a free open world, that you create your own journey, that it has that feeling. So it's difficult for a new player to understand how to access the game. How should they be playing the game? Uh, and the menu itself is difficult to understand and takes some practice to get used to. They could make that much easier. Uh, another problem that they really need to work on is the functionality of the online servers. Uh, being able to get in with your friends is tough, takes a really long time to connect. I know the game is new, but this problem is not new. They claimed that they were going to fix these problems that were in Horizon 4, where you just get random disconnects. You would invite a friend in, your friend would go to a race, and you would get kicked out. There's a lot of problems in terms of functionality online. So as fun as this is to play, once you finally get in a server with your friends, it's a real headache to get there. And it can be discouraging to even play the game if you're really looking forward to racing with your friends against or with your friends and you can't get into a server. It takes a half hour to even make it work. You're resetting the game. You're you know, trying whatever you can as a team to just get in a server together. And that is unbelievably frustrating. They got to get that right. In summary, this game is fantastic. When you compare it to most other games you can play out there that feel like a copy of a copy, um, kind of a parody of themselves most games out there this is genuinely fun i give the game overall an 8.7 uh, because i really wouldn't give it as low as an 8 but not quite a 9 i think there's some things they could have done to really um, do a little better in terms of innovation but overall the experience is better the game is improving and it is genuinely improving it is not smoke and mirrors the game is actually getting better although it's incremental uh, it is getting better and so when you're looking at games I evaluate how much better is my experience from one title to the next. How much are they reselling me the same garbage they sold me last year? And we as consumers have to be able to stand up against this idea and vote against these studios that will sell us the same recycled garbage year after year. We have to stop buying that. So I recommend this one because it genuinely has earned my dollars when purchasing because they've improved the game. It is a better experience across the board. Could it be even better? Of course, everything could be. Um, and a lot of people would argue the online is, is pretty frustrating, but at the same time, it is getting better. So 8.7 out of 10 from me. Some quick tips to go over if you're brand new to Horizon. The big thing in this game is being prepared for the race. Know what class the race is. Is it A class, B class, C class? Know what car you'll need to win that race. That is a majority of the skill in this game is knowing what car and how to install the right parts on that car to be sure you're going to be competitive. Based on the parts that you install on the car, there'll be a number associated with the car. So you'll see 800 for class B or class C. You'll see that number and there's a top a high end for that particular class. You want to install the parts that will get you to that number. Then take a look at the tuning of your car to be sure that you have that tuned right for the race itself. You can tune things uh, like the actual springs and shocks and the height of the car, 
the braking power on the front and back. Every way you can imagine, you can customize the tuning. And I highly recommend downloading an app for Forza that'll allow you to actually tell you what to tune the car to if you're doing rally with a car or if you're doing a street race. You also have to keep in mind the tires. What tires are you going to use? That's really important. If you have the wrong tires, you're not going to win that race. So most of the game is in preparation for the race. Uh, of course, driving is important. You'll get that. But if you don't have the right car, the right parts, the right tuning, they're going to be light years ahead of you online. So that's important to have. It's just preparation is a big part of the game. Get with somebody, one of your friends is good at this game. Like I have a good, good friend, uh, Roxas, that basically makes sure that I'm not being too newbie. So get a good friend like that that can help you understand the parts and the tuning and get that right so you can be competitive. Some basic driving tips I have. Um, being new, I kind of needed these basic things. First of all, understand that your pedals are steering the car just as much, if not more so, than the steering wheel. So how you're interacting with the pedals, how quickly you're letting go of the gas, how quickly you're pushing down on that gas or the brake, that's actually changing the physics and the weight of the car so much that the steering wheel is only a byproduct after you've handled the pedals correctly. So learning how to hit that throttle at the right time, at the apex or the middle part of a turn, learning when to brake and how much, learning to downshift to control your momentum. Um, so downshifting one gear, then hitting that throttle right at the apex. That's helped me a lot being completely new to racing. And if you're brand new, maybe, maybe those tips uh, will help you as well. The big thing is that that big pedal on the left, <laughs> I tend to underuse that and I just want to go fast and you'll see me do that. Just completely drive off the road or go spinning out or fishtail for 20 minutes while I'm driving down the road. That is uh, all pedal management and I'm, <laughs> I'm learning just like you, but it's something that we, you know, we can get better at together. In closing, I hope you enjoyed this review of Horizon 5. If you have already gotten the game, let me know what your favorite part about it is. What's your favorite mode to play? Uh, maybe your favorite track, favorite car. This type of stuff is always exciting to try new things. And even though there's not that many new modes, there are a lot of new cars and tracks. So I'll be excited to hear about those. Also, don't forget to give the video a like. I'm a new YouTuber. It certainly helps the algorithms that put me out there. And do consider subscribing. That's appreciated as well. Helps a ton when you're a, a little baby, little nothing YouTube like this guy. So appreciate it in advance and enjoy the rest of the video. I have some more driving on here. You can just sit back and enjoy.
someone is keen for Horizon Arcade, why wouldn't you be? This is the best place to play games and do stunts with other drivers. We'll start soon. You run along and make friends. If you stayed this long, you're pretty freaking sweet. So, watch this sick jump.